What's the best RoboVac of 2019? I have your answer and some huge savings coming right up. Hi, I'm the YouTube deal guy, Matt Granite. And I've got a huge deal on the best robotic vacuum that's also a RoboMop. Do you hear that in the background? I'll open the door, I don't know if you can hear it. Oh yeah, there's some sweet suction going on upstairs. I do a lot of tests and unboxings for TV stations across the country. You might know me from your ABC, NBC, or CBS TV station, or from YouTube. And all of the products get extensive battery tests, extensive product tests, and that's some of what you hear going on right now. I'm just running a vacuum in the background to see how long it takes to go. So I apologize for the background noise, but I am pressed for time. I know your time is important. If you want to score this RoboVac at its lowest recorded price, just expand the video description box right now, and you're going to get a RoboVac that will retail probably for a little bit more on Prime Day and Black Friday. That's also a RoboMop. Now, before we get to the product, I would like to show you guys video complete with squeals and my mom in the background of my daughter Mara crawling for the... Sounds like that vacuum's done. Of my daughter crawling for the first time. So I'm going to show you this video right now. I know it's very cute or not. I, I guess all parents are biased, but she's... 10 months old and crawling, which is maybe a little bit late by some parents' standards, but she was very excited about it. And as she continues to make her way from floor to carpet, I'm paying more attention to the debris, the germs, and various other possible allergens on my floor than ever before, as well as carpet. And when you get something that's also a mop, ooh, you're ticking a lot of boxes. I'm gonna take you through the product, I'll give you a bit of a tour, and then the other thing that I wanna showcase with regards to this particular model is if you were to spend money still going, right? If you were to spend money on the iRobot or many of the other Roomba vacuums, you're spending generally two or three times the price of this, but in most cases, you are not getting a RoboMop as well. And I've also tested some of those entry-level RoboVacs that are $90, $100. They're terrible. They just do giant figure eights around the circumference of your home. This is a much better grab, better battery, more pickup. I'm going to take you through everything. Here you go. You can see that it's dirt detection software actually does a really good job. I've seen many RoboVacs where they just draw repeated figure eights around your place. This is doing a little bit more in terms of dirt pickup. Seems to know where the dirt is, which is really nice to see. There we go. That's beautiful, right? Like this is a, a difficult thing for your typical RoboVac to clean because there's a lot of intricate edges. But see the way it's, it's backing up. It's really getting a lot of the dirt. All right. This is the infamous area around the high chair. I've removed the internal high chair fabric, which is in the wash. You can see as it hits a wall or a piece of furniture, it's, it's, it's a much more gentle bump. I've seen some RoboVacs move entire pieces of furniture and the sensors on this are, are quite good. I've even seen RoboVax dent walls or create little marrings of white paint. That is not a phenomenon right here. Now, in addition to the crumbs that I've thrown onto the carpet for the purpose of this demonstration, as in these are not natural crumbs, one of my favorite demonstrations with a RoboVac is the ease at which it can navigate from floor to carpet. And in this case, you're gonna see that the wheels definitely don't trip it up as it goes directly from floor onto carpet. So it's ease, right? Let's see what it picks up along the way. There's some stars left over from my birthday celebration from last week. That's really cool that it picked that up. All right, let's see what else it does. We've got a feather, a chocolate chip cookie. One fail swoop, right? It's not going back over the area five times. There's a little star here. I should mention for this part, I'm using the remote control to navigate it toward dirt because I'm feeling really lazy. If I wasn't using the remote control for this particular demonstration, it would likely learn the perimeter of the carpet, do some strange things that may not be as direct in terms of dirt pickup, but you know what, I'll, I'll put the remote control down and let's see what it does. The interesting thing right now is it's sensing a little bit more debris in the area around the baby change table, which is correct. And this is what I say about RoboVax. Everyone always says, oh yeah, I'm not so lazy. I don't need a RoboVac. My answer is I'm not physically able to move large pieces of furniture. I don't want to. So the fact that this RoboVac can seamlessly navigate under a chair and pick up dirt, debris, dust, 
this is much more effective than me having to move each individual piece of furniture. And if you are living with any type of accessibility issues, for my grandparents, they're seniors, they're actually stronger than I am, but anyhow, they're not going to move a couch or a chair either. So that is where a slim profile RoboVac is wonderfully useful. After what was less than 15 minutes of use, I just want to show you what this RoboVac was able to capture. So we've got a lot of pet hair right here. And I just have a cat visitor right now for the summer. I do, I'm, I'm cat sitting. I don't own a cat. <laughs> so this is a lot of hair and she's barely on this floor. So that's kind of frightening. Now let's open up the compartment where the dirt is. Like, look at that, that's disgusting. That was under 15 minutes of use. Vile. And then you can see the hair against the filter. And this is a really good multi-level filtration system because you can see right here, you have the filter. Right, this is still white, and you have the filtration under it. So this is a really good multi-stage filter. So let's put this back in as I knock the bin over. And it's a very easy reassembly. I know people that will spend longer cleaning the RoboVacs and the RoboVacs actually clean on their own. And we're gonna put on the mop feature. And you can see there's some very good shocks tied to the wheels and these brushes. You get additional replacement brush heads, which is fantastic. And let's put the mop in. Now for three times more, you could get a RoboVac from a different company, but it's not usually a Robo mop as well. So you just add a little bit of water right into this attachment, which is included with the Cordy RoboVac. You seal it and then the Robo vacuum converts in half a second to a mop. And once you put the water into here, the robo mop goes in. And I should mention that this pad comes off to clean. You can throw it into the wash, which is great. Okay. Let's take this bad boy for a spin. Now you might know the saying, don't cry over spilled milk. And you certainly don't cry over it if you have a robo vac. That's also a robo mop. So right now, this beautiful robo mop is going to go to work. And I have deliberately placed spilled milk on the floor right here. But you'll see it's not spotting, right? It does one beautiful streak. You'll see as it goes through the milk right now, it's giving it a good mop, right? I don't need to do this. Look at that. I mean, this is not leaving residue, not leaving streaks. There's not splotches of white milk all over the place. It's really doing a good job, especially as it goes back over the area a second time. Hopefully all those demonstrations in the dirt pickup help you at least understand a little bit more how this works and why it's different. And again, I'm pretty sure that the wheels on here are better than what I owned on my first car. If you wanna grab this deal, just expand the video description box. This will not be around at its promotional price for that long. I, I never really know how long these deals will last. Cordy is not paying me to talk about them. I wish they were, uh, but I, I just don't have any insight into how long this deal is. So if you are subscribed to my channel, you are getting this wallet in stock at its lowest recorded price. If you are seeing a bit of a fluctuation, it might mean you're watching this weeks or months after I posted the video. Video. So here's what you can do if you're not yet subscribed. Click on my oversized head right here that'll subscribe you to this channel if you need help turning on your notifications or leaving a comment you can click up there and that last big roundup of deals I did right over here.